Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to have you guys with me here once again. I'm a little late. It's Tuesday and normally I film on a Sunday or a Monday, but let me tell you, you guys, Monday was wild in a good way, but still had a lot. I needed all of my attention there. So I don't know how you guys are feeling about this quote unquote new setup. I hate calling it that because this is authentically my place. And um, I don't like setting up scenes for things. I, um, you guys know I like to stay genuine. This is my home. And I also wanted to share with you guys, I've been doing a lot of ancestor magic. This is my grandfather's shirt that I'm wearing today. And I just feel so connected and so rooted to my ancestors, my family, the family that is to come, all of those things, man. I'm just so rooted in them. I'm so grounded in them. I'm so grateful. And this is just something that I really wanted to share with you guys. Even as I'm saying this, I'm working from a basket. This is where I keep my blankets when I'm in my living room and also my boots for when I go out and take care of my chickens and do my lawn work. So these are genuinely all of the things that bring me the greatest joy, fulfillment, and pleasure in my life. And I just wanted to share even the smallest detail with you guys, if that's okay. So I figured it would be cool, but I wanted to keep it 100 with you guys as I always do with my predictions, with my card pulling, with my messages per usual. How are you guys feeling? What has been going on? Last week was a bit of a doozy. Remember we talked about that? And if you have my guide to 2022, I just have it pulled up on my phone or on my iPad. Well, technically this is Franklin's iPad. <laughs> he let me borrow it today. because He's taking a nap right now as we speak. So actually he didn't let me, I, I took it from him. I didn't ask. For those of you guys that don't know, Franklin is my dog. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I have it pulled up on my iPad, but last week was a doozy when it comes to communication, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to money. I mean, it was just like a, the, the, what am I getting? Um, have you guys seen the movie Anchorman when he's like, whammy? Like that was the vibe of last week. And this week, again, pulling the charts and referencing the complete guide to 2022. I'll link it down below if you don't have it yet. This is going to be far better of a week energetically, but you're still going to want to use the tension, the challenges, the irritation for your highest and greatest good. You guys know I'm a broken record and it's pretty much my motto at this point, but when you know how to work with the planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. And this is one of those energies too. So you don't wanna find yourself a victim and being steamrolled by these planets. If you know the energy that is that you're working with, you're going to be able to, again, capitalize on these energies in a way that feels really good and productive versus you becoming a victim and you, kind of like walking out of it, like limping out of this week and then last week. So one of the main things and main messages that I was feeling to tell you guys and that I spoke of is quote unquote doing the right thing and sometimes doing the right thing is really difficult. And also it deviates from how things were normally done. Not only are we gonna see that and not only are we seeing that on a global level, but we're also seeing that in our personal lives. It is this deviation and breakdown of our normal routines, our normal rites, rituals, and rules of the way that things have always been done up until this point, but it serves the greater good. Spirit, the universe, the planets, the divine plan, this ultimate divine plan that we have to respect and honor has a higher wisdom from a vibration that goes so beyond human logic. And it is the biggest blessing to be able to work with that, to tap into that, even though in the moment, it may not make sense to you. And just on a personal level, you guys, that is one of my greatest gifts in this, from the time that I've been on earth, is my, is my understanding that my own understanding is so small compared to the greater understanding of spirit. And this is why one of my greatest gifts is has been being guided and led into trusting my intuition because my intuition and my third eye vision and your intuition and your third eye vision is going to be the direct line of truth, the direct line of communication that is going to help you to move and maneuver with these energies instead of you being frightened and paralyzed because your logic doesn't reason with what is happening. Spirit is not under any obligation in order to tell you the greater plan. However, 
you do want to trust that whatever is happening here and whatever is occurring is for your highest and greatest good, not only for you, but also for the greater good of the world and humanity. So if we are relying solely on our own logic and our own reason and our own understanding, we can find ourselves really uh, paralyzed and shook by it and wondering what's going to happen and the decisions that we make from that space of fear, insecurity, and doubt is never going to be good. It's never going to be good. This is why it's so awesome to pull these charts. This is why it's so awesome to have a really healthy spiritual practice that serves you not just once a week, not just once a month or once a year, but hopefully, ideally, daily, where you can just connect in with your guides. Now, I did not start this uh, video or this the reason of this video is not for me to tell you guys that but I do want to remind you of that if that's okay um, but and also to encourage you if if for those of you guys that uh, you know need the reminder or need that encouragement right now I'm 1000% here to give that to you so diving in you guys Mercury rules our communication it rules how we express ourselves it rules what we hear what we think how we process what is happening around us will be conjunct Jupiter on the 21st I'm filming the 22nd um, of this month the 21st was technically yesterday however we will be feeling this energy all this week this is about you taking the bits and the pieces and the tidbits of information that you've already received and doing with it in a way that is constructive and productive to your goals right from the limited space that it is that you are right now so what have you learned last week and what have you learned thus far that you can use as a tool in order to help create maybe not cement because there's still this damage that is happening to the foundation of your relationship, your business, your goals, your, your career, your money, your health. Those things are not completely cemented yet and firm. They're being cemented, meaning that what was already destroyed and what has already been created some ground, you know, the ground has been broken. Now it's, we're starting to pour in the cement and we're starting to, um, not manipulate, but we're starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together like, oh, okay, I want flagstone. You're starting to design, you know, what this foundation is going to look like for you. So what, from the rubble, from the ashes, from what has already occurred, where do you, <clears throat> where do you see yourself taking this plan? Where do you, what do you see your future looking like? Tap into that even, oh God, he knows I'm using his iPad. Here comes Franklin. Oh, he knows. Guys, don't tell him. Hey, Franklin. What's up? Oh, you just woke up from a nap? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to everybody. He makes these little piggy snort noises, which I love. I'm obsessed with you, my little Leo baby. Okay. All right. So sorry about that, guys. But yeah, what have you already connected with? What have you already vibed with? Um, as far as what spirit is speaking into your life. This is another week too, which is going to be so phenomenal when it comes to being outside in nature, if you can, or being with the elements. You guys could be in a house somewhere or in a safe space or sitting in a Starbucks window and having the sunlight just, you know, shine on your face. And what is spirit speaking to you in that moment? What is spirit giving to you in that moment? as far as the vision, the prophecy, and it's going to extend way past your current moment, like your this current, this current right here. And as I say that, Franklin, you can't see him, but he's literally found a sliver of sunshine and he's just allowing himself to receive, you know, the beauty of this moment. And I do see that for, for, for you and for me as well. I do want to talk to you guys about Mars square Uranus, and this is going to be on the 22nd, AKA today, the time that it is that I'm filming and also Mercury. Um, conjunct Neptune and Mercury sextile Pluto and then Mercury will then enter into the sign of Aries and that's going to happen on the 27th so what this is essentially showing me when I'm looking at the charts and when I'm looking into the eyes of spirit is this downloading of information this receptive feminine energy that we are actively tapping into is then going to switch up the game and then we're going to go into hyper hyper charged time where we're going to be tapping into our masculine and we're going to be very active we're gonna have a lot of momentum, we're gonna have a lot of movement. What does this mean? This means that this quiet time, this receptive time, this inner channeling time, this divine feminine, okay, let me just receive the information, let me receive the download, let me receive the inspiration, let me receive the vision, and then work with it, tweak it, nurture it, 
and nurture myself is going to be essential to when Mercury on the 27th enters into the sign of Aries, the sign that is all about active, it's all about doing, it's all about movement, momentum, and the sun representing our core energy, our, our, our essence, our ego, what we know about ourselves, and where our energy is being hyper-focused at this moment in time, in this season in our lives, has, is also transiting Aries. So now we're active. Now we're developing. Now we're building. Now we're moving. Now we're going to see the breakthrough. Now we're going to see the new beginning starting to take off and starting to run. It's very powerful. It's very uplifting. It's very cathartic. It's very exciting. And it's in your face. It's in your face. It's in your mailbox. It's in your the calls that it is that you're receiving. It's the developments that you're watching kind of, you know, pay off and break out. It's very, very, it's exciting. At the same time, let me just say this one last message, you guys. When Mercury conjuncts Neptune and as Mars is squaring off with Uranus, there is still a very heightened space within the chart that can enlight and enrage energies around you. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting a lot of road rage vibes. Make sure that you are calming, cooling, centering, or that you also have a physical outlet in order to burn those energies. It's funny because as I'm saying that, yesterday was pretty frustrating. There were frustrating moments, I will say. I could see the greater picture in it and the greater perspective, but there were some frustrating moments. And it's funny because that same day, my friend and I came up with this grand idea to go for a bike ride, see how far we can go, how create, how hard we can push ourselves without hurting ourselves. And actually, now that I think about it, our conversation did revolve around our plans for the future as far as our physical health, our activity, and how far we could, you know, go, so to speak. And um, hold on a second. Funny, because she's texting me right now. Just a second. Shout out to me for typing fast, right? I've been working on that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, there's this there's this greater goal that it is that we have as far as um, you know where we can take our where we can take our goals, where we can take ourselves by the hard work, the effort, the energy that we're exerting. It's very masculine. It's very very fun. All right, I do want to say this really quickly. I've been dealing with some stalker situations and um, I want to say really quickly that these, I don't know why this is coming through right now, but these messages are for a general audience. Nothing that I say is, is an invitation in order to invite anybody into my life. I have no interest in entertaining anyone that I have not met, that I have not and do not want to see. I'm not inviting that. Do not take this as an invitation in order for you to try to forcefully enter into my life. I genuinely have no interest in that. I want to be very clear on that. That's something too I haven't told you guys about, but I've been dealing with a lot of stalker situations. It's been more than one. I appreciate the idea that I'm someone that someone's soulmate. I am queen of swords and I will cut you. Okay. I'm not interested. I cannot make that more clear. I'm not interested. I do not want you. <laughs> and that's to specific people. If you are reading these messages as me talking directly to you, I'm not. Well, now I am, but this is not, I'm not trying to invite in your, I, I'm Virgo. I do not, I have no interest in that. Believe me. Okay. Look up, if you're going to pull my charts and look, and look into small details, then at least know that I'm the most closed off person and no amount of forcing trying to force into my life is going to make me want you or want what you have to offer. I could not be any more clear on that. And I'm tired of my assistant having to tell me that she's receiving another email of some bullshit. We are so disgusted by it. We don't like it. Go away. <laughs> and I say that with love and light, but also queen of, queen of swords directness. Um, we cannot be any more nice or professional and any more clear and yet, and still the stalker situations really keep trying to push past that. And I'm, I hate having my boundaries crossed. I hate that. That is a no, no, big no, no for me. If you want to send me good energy, or if you want to be in my life, stay away and send good prayers from afar. That's the best way to do it. All right. Um, I do want to be very clear and specific again. I know that's not something that I normally, I normally don't talk about my personal life, my personal uh, problems or situations, but it is something that I've been dealing with. <clears throat> and, um, 
Yeah, stop. Enough is enough. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Spiritual Protection. Okay, so moving forward, Spirit, what do we have when it comes to the tarot and messages um, that they, we should be receiving right now? Wow, guys, Ace of Swords jumped out hard and heavy. This is you speaking very, very clear. <laughs> I think we've got that down pat, but we. this is you speaking very clear about your boundaries, what you want, what you're thinking, what you're envisioning. This is not just to people, but I also feel like it's speaking to spirit. Some of you guys, I don't know why this is coming through, but some of you guys are having a grappling, a back and forth within yourselves as far as how am I respecting spirit by telling spirit or telling God or telling the divine what it is that I want? And then also respecting the greater plan for my for my life and what spirit is telling me. I hear you. I feel you on that. King of Pentacles is here. And there's this message too about grounding yourself, centering yourself. And when you are grounded, center, stabilized, even in a moment, spirit will download, give to you the greater vision. You're going to know what spirit has for you and wants for you because when you sit with yourself, what you want and what you envision really feels sometimes far away, but it feels like you must call it into your life. Um, and, and when you feel it, it doesn't come also with angst or fear. There may be doubt, but because you, it just seems so wild, you know, sometimes it feels so impossible, but the doubt it's, it's not this like, oh, you know, the space of unhealthy, it's coming from what you know, you, <clears throat> you want, and you know that you're not asking for something that is hurtful or harmful. Okay, it's this internal sense, but you may wonder how could this ever happen or when will it happen? That's natural, that's normal, and that does come from the divine. There is this written plan that you are working on or that you are tapping into, and Eight of Cups, it's what you're walking away from. It's what you are, I'm also hearing it's something that was embedded within you, so when you are guided to walk away from certain things or walk away from certain people, those steps are being guided to move forward, to move on, to take, to, to go forward, right? And Knight of Cups, there's water there, there's replenishment there, there's something that will, every step of the way in your season in your life, there's going to be a cup left there for you. I don't know why I'm sensing that. Um, Eight of Cups, but Eight of, Ace of Swords, you're going to want to look for it. Um, there's something that is left there, a gift in that moment. And it's, not so much looking at the bright side or looking at the glass half full. It's that spirit really does leave you certain things in order to quench quench your thirst and to provide for you. This has a lot to do, look you guys, with your own healing and with the fact that you are going to be divinely inspired every step of the way by realizing like even in the craziness of this moment, there is something that I can look forward to and there is something that I've gained from this. You know, I may have lost this or this or this may have happened or this may have frustrated me or this may have caused doubt or hesitation or resistance. But the greater thing is that I've also, you know, I have the, the chance to start over. I have the chance to have better people around me. I have the chance to rebuild in a way that makes sense for my future that I was also hesitant or fearful of doing. Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles. This is something that you might have self-sabotaged with or that you might have doubted yourself. You may have had your own insecurities. You may have had your own doubts where you're like, you know, it's also, I'm also getting like, um, what is it called? Like imposter syndrome where you're like, are you sure? <laughs> like, am I the one? Like, what makes me... What, why should I be the one to receive this? Why should I be the one to be in this position? Why should I? And it's like, because everybody has a divine purpose. Everyone has a divine path that they are meant and guided to take and a vision that they are meant to fulfill and a space that they're supposed to step forward into and cement themselves. It's who they are. So don't five of swords, talk yourself out of this. Take the lesson as much as you can. Take the lesson, learn from it and be greater and step forward into it. Look for those Knight of Cups moments. There's cups and offerings that spirit literally is leading into your life like a river, a stream into your life in order to serve you, in order to soothe you, in order to give to you, okay? So, so be with that, be with that, be one with that and take the cup, <laughs> 
because that cup is going to lead you into the next stage, the next thing that you're going to be walking away from. This doesn't always seem bad. It's like certain chapters in your life that you're saying goodbye to and moving forward away from. Um, so that is what it is that I'm seeing, you guys. I, I hope that this message resonates. Let me hit my little dongs here. My mom gave me these. And I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Uh, this video is also sponsored by Dossier, who reached out to me. They are providing perfumes, which I had, I received two, and they really do smell good. I think that they have a coupon code. You guys know I'm the worst when it comes to sponsorships, sponsorships and videos, but they, the perfumes do smell good. And a lot of you guys are very much into the divine essence and you know, working on your Venetian energies and tapping into, you know, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel great, men and women and all, all types of people. Um, so I'll definitely link that down below. They're sponsoring this video. Thank you guys, uh, Dossier, for sending the perfumes, for sponsoring this. Um, it also adds energy and good vibes and support into my YouTube channel, which I'm 1000% here for. And also my podcasting platforms if you're checking out Bahati Life on podcast which for those of you guys that don't know I do have a Bahati Life podcast um yeah so I'm sending you guys all my loves links down for candle magic oils herbs and anything that you can need in order to work your magic will be found down below and you can find me working the apothecary per usual which by the way you guys I am totally revamping my apothecary space, where I work my space and how I work my magic, I feel like I needed it. I'm always evolving. So I won't be sharing the details of that because I got to rip out some cur carpet and put down some really durable floors. I don't know if I'm doing tile or wood. I'm more of a wood girl myself, but I'm also earth, earth within my chart. But tile may be a better option. So we'll see. We'll see. But um, yeah, so please thank you guys for those of you guys that are being patient. All of this is to contribute to us, to the, to the shop, and my ability to show up for you guys in the best way. And I'm just grateful. I'm very, very grateful. And I'm honored to have my ancestors by my side who are just cheering me on. I feel it every day. Those are the Knights of Cups, the cups that are being led for me. They're just like, your grandfather was like this. Your grandmother is like this. Your great, your uncle was like this. You know, my ancestors are really just, just very powerful and very fiery and very like <laughs> amazing. I'm honored. So I do want to invite you again to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Find me on TikTok. I've been sharing a lot there. I'm very excited and grateful. I'm a broken record, but that's just my vibe lately. And I'm sending you guys all of my love. Oh, uh, be mindful of anybody who's scamming. I'm so over it. Remember I told you that the spiritual community was going to be under attack? This was like years ago. And everyone's like, how? And I'm just like, can you see? <laughs> this is how. <laughs> um, but shout out to the charts for even revealing that and spirit for showing that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be mindful of scammers. Um, I'm not offering readings. I'm not reaching out to anybody. The only email that I have is info at Bahati Life. I do not use WhatsApp like that. And I'm, um, yeah, um, there's only one Instagram account. There's only one TikTok account and it's at Bahati Life. No underscores, no extra shit, no extra stuff. So yeah, be mindful. Use your discernment, please. I'm sending you guys all my love. Okay, bye. <laughs> you were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. 
You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.